What's going on, everybody? This is Brendan, the channel is Dad Planet. I am the one man show. Thank you so much for tuning in. This is a very quick trip to the thrift store. I'm taking you along for the ride like I always do. And the key component in today's video is very simple. Look for the items that look basic, they look simple, they look like they don't have any value, but it's just the opposite. They're hidden in plain sight and they're worth a lot of money. Stay tuned. I want to make it a point to shout out all of the people that watch me from overseas. A shout out to you. some of you have mentioned before. You don't have the luxury of the bins in whatever country it is you're watching or some of the store prices that we get here or I'm getting here in my local area. Shout out to all of you from overseas, Australia, Germany, wherever it is you're watching. Um, I appreciate each and every one of you. All right. So this is the, the, was the Mosasaur, Mosasaurus from Jurassic World. If you can get this for a couple of bucks, I feel like the you can remove the tail because it's really long. Pick it up. I didn't pick this up, but I think you get $20 for it. They wanted five. I passed it up and I'm second guessing myself right now, but this caught my eye because it was obvious. So I can tell right away it's Polo Ralph Lauren. I don't even really need to look at the tag, obviously just to verify that it's authentic. So it's a pair of swim trunks with the lining and they've got the big pony right there on the left um, quad. And you can see the tag right there. And also the size is amazing, 4XB. So it looks like they're new with tags, right? It doesn't have the price tag, but it has that other tag that's hanging there. So I feel like I can pass these off, all things being equal, as brand new. Right now, and prices are all over the place for the for this size for shorts for Polo Ralph Lauren. And it's a weird time, right? Because we're, you know, it's almost winter. But this could be a gift that somebody gives someone. So at the absolute low end, I think I'm going to price them at 45. But listen, people pay 100 bucks plus for these shorts brand new in this size. So I'm not exactly sure where the price is going to land at the very, very minimum, $45 brand new. Those Converse looked cool, but they had too much damage that I didn't think that I could repair adequately and then still give you know a buyer a decent experience, assuming, of course, they, they last when I fix them. So saw a couple of jerseys were still in football season. Uh, Mayfield from Cleveland, that's not going to go. Juju Smith-Schuster, that could have been okay, but I'm starting to get leery now because if you watched me a video or two ago, you saw the fake Steph Curry jersey that I found at the bins. I'm getting the feeling that these jerseys that I'm touching are also inauthentic. So if you look at the stitching on that, the stitching is terrible. Now the thing here, and this is a Kawhi Leonard uh, Clippers jersey, the thing you have to, or at least what is in my experience is, some of the stitching can be kind of wobbly on jerseys and still be authentic. And so that can be confusing. These, however, both are in really rough condition. If you look at the, and this is a Maple Leafs jersey, honor, pride, courage, but like look at the stitching, how the letters are connected. It's very sloppy. And again, stitching can be sloppy and they can still be authentic, but these are just, and I, I verified this one with comps. This is just a terrible fake. You can even look at the Adidas when I get the camera moving up there, Brendan. Um, the Matthews just has stitches, stitching hanging from it, but if, even if you look at that Adidas up at the top, having the stitching color connect letters-wise like that is just really poor quality. Both of those are fake, and so they both had to go back. And I'm not even gonna bother checking the Smith-Schuster jersey because I feel like you know, where there's smoke, there's fire. So I'm not even gonna bother with it, nor am I gonna bother with this Tommy Bahama. It's just the wrong season. That could go in a wholesale lot for somebody, but I didn't pick it up. I left it behind uh, and I think it would be more than $5. These shirts were priced like 12 to 15. So done with the jerseys, We're gonna move on, on to shoes. This is a pair of Crocs style on these are Rio. They are Rio ballet flats. They're kind of nice because they're like translucent jelly type and they have this cool turquoise in sole and the soles are also turquoise believe it or not these are 30 bucks if you find the right color for this style rio and crocs you can push this up to like 45 dollars, 50 bucks maybe even more pre-owned but these look good i'm not exactly sure how they'll perform if you will in the wash when i put them in the wash if i put them in the wash because i'm not really sure what to do with that material but i don't think there's any i'll have any problems just getting them clean washing them the way i wash my shoes but $30 for those, so that's great. Crocs is like my sleeper hit of the year. I didn't sell a single pair of them last year and I've sold you know, probably 50 this year. 
So amazing find there. And uh, they organized the electronics, but I caught them slipping actually on this one right here. So APF 300 from Royal. It's an automatic paper folder. What what happened to our hands? Like we can't fold paper anymore in our hands? Like I don't get it. What is this thing even for? Now, if you try to look for sales or solds in the last 90 days, you're not gonna find any. That's why Terapeak is your friend. It is amazing to have that as a resource that is free inside eBay. If you go back 12 full months, you can see pre-owned, this has sold for as low as 30 and as high as 85. I'm gonna be the only one that has it on eBay. So assuming, of course, the thing works, I'm gonna price this at $85 and you can see they only want five for it. I think that that is an amazing sleeper find right there. And this place is just totally littered with electronics, much of which I cannot use. And I've seen a million times just no value and or or I really didn't feel like dealing with it, you know, missing a plug, missing a cord, you know, having to test all these electronics. That stuff takes time uh, and it's time I don't want to spend right now. So I'll test the paper folder and then hopefully that works. We'll put eighty five dollars on it. I'm always looking for glassy baby, even though this like basically impossible to find. Not impossible, but really hard to find, especially here on the East Coast. And a lot of these things will surprise me. So I will pick them up and check the brand underneath just to see this is the best way really to do research. Get in the store, pick things up, put them in your hand, look at the stamp, look at the brand, look them up, and uh, you will start to find a lot of items just like that paper folder that are hidden in plain sight. That's the name of the game for longevity in the business of reselling. Grab the things that don't look so obvious that have value. Here is another perfect example of that. It just looks like your regular old boring DVD player was sitting on a, a, a cart that had been manhandled by a bunch of the other resellers. So I came in late, checked it out. Style is DR430 from Toshiba. It's a DVD recorder. 23 currently listed, 123 have sold in the last 90 days. And it looks like for pre-owned, assuming it works, it's a minimum of $100 and it is only going to cost me eight so another fantastic fine check underneath the carts to see if maybe there was something else i missed but those two items are a very good example of things that they just don't recognize in the back they're not going to scalp them price wise they're not going to go to shop goodwill other resellers might miss it and that's where you can come in and and uh and make some good money so i'm happy to find those two this one here nothing special brooks Adrenaline GTS 20, they're a men's size 12. I'm gonna shoot for 40 on these. They're in very good condition. They have a little bit of wear towards the toes, but not on the heel. There's like no heel drag, not much wear, but a teeny bit you can see there on the on the toes. And uh, you know, is this like a, a major bolo that you should grab every single time? You have to just t do this one on a case by case basis. But I think I'm gonna test them out at 40. They do have to be washed. I'll clean up the midsoles a little bit. But I'm selling through shoes faster than I'm sourcing them right now because the bins has been a struggle. They're not rotating the shoes out fast enough and I like to kind of get in and out and so I'm not staying to, to hit the first shoe rotation. So I'm selling them, but I'm not really replenishing them. So I'm gonna take those home. We'll put them at 40. Maybe they'll land somewhere around $30 and we're all good here. Eddie Bauer, this next thing, Trapper Hat. I was surprised, these brand new, look like they're selling in the $30 range. The retail price on it was $29.99, but a nice hat, I think this was a size small to medium, and I was really surprised to see them selling for $30. That'll cost me two, so I'm gonna take that one. I'm also gonna take this Outdoor Research. They call this a Yukon hat. It's also a, a Trapper Hat style hat, but this has good resale value too. These are different because they have a, a little fold in the on the brim, I don't know if I'm gonna show you that, but the brim folds without you having the option to kind of crack it. There's like an actual fold manufactured into the middle of the brim. I don't know what the functionality is for that, but 20 bucks on that one. And then look at this, the hat that matches the shorts. What do you know? Polo hat, big pony number three. I have a beige one of these I have listed for 20. I'm gonna make this one 40 bucks. It is in excellent condition, and what do you know? We're spending $34 total this trip, and uh, my listed value on the conservative side, $390. I couldn't find a manual for this thing online, 
So we're just gonna have to wing it here, folks. Um, I haven't pre-tested this or anything. So it's missing, it's like a little, whatever you call that right there. It's missing that window, door, whatever that's called. I'm just gonna drop this in and let's see what happens. If anything happens, maybe it goes in this way. Oh, there it goes. Oh, would you just look at that? It folded it. All right, so it obviously works. That is hilarious. Um, I don't know, it went pretty fast. So now we know it works. Gonna try to get some bins footage for you in the next couple of days. Have a What's Sold video coming out after we pass the 15th. And that's it for today. Thanks so much for tuning in. Brendan here, Dad Planet, The One Man Show. Hit that like button if you liked what you saw or you learned something today. And then always consider becoming a member of the Dad Planet family by subscribing and hitting the bell notification icon so that you know every single time I upload a video to YouTube. But that is it for today. That is all I have for you. Thank you once again, and we will see you in the next video.